Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got our first little key thing. This episode, we're going to be trying to find another one. Hopefully getting them all. Which we should be able to do pretty fast. It seems like we have to go all the way around to get there. There's one over there, and let's see, how do we even get there? Looks like we just drop off and then take a left and a right. Well, no, when I start sinking. Pass correct. I believe that's where we came in from, so. Crap. Also, I did go back and I did get a fairy, so. And I recovered my health, which is nice. Get around here. And you go up here. Right. I thought. So close to getting there. A lot of vultures flying in over my head, which is not the best thing in the world, not something you want to see when you're a protagonist. Alright, so I have to go forward and. Making sure, because it's easy to get disorientated and off the path. What happened there? I thought I was on the path still. I guess I must have been a smidgen off. to the left. But then it cuts off. Hmm. Odd. But then again, in this area, I tend to miss some stuff, so I'm not too surprised. You sink really fast, too. Yeah, maybe the grass is a red herring. I was going fine there for a while, and then sunk as soon as I went towards the grass. This is the straight line I needed. Instead of doing the stupid thing, I'm gonna be getting a bombs with the oops. Farm birds. I should probably get the boulders farm. Kinda weird. Just gonna grab that. And apparently I can't do that. Alright. Ow. Okay. 
crap. Huh. Thanks, bird. Thanks a lot, bird. Huh. Can't use a beetle for long because of these birds. Pretty sure it's, yep, it's right there. Ow. See how far along this rope does it take before I start sinking? Because supposedly I can just keep walking like this until a point. Alright, that's kind of weird, but let's do this now. And there's the thing. Normally we'd be able to do this and it would work, but since it's rusted, we need the uh, time thing, which I'm assuming is in here. How my bombs don't sink is a bit of a surprise. Just a second, making sure, okay. Still recording. Good. For some reason, it was showing last recording that I was wasn't recording, but I was, so... It's a little weird, but... Alright, we got a third one now. I'm assuming that's supposed to be water, but it kind of looks like a... Alright, now that we have that activated, the last one should be in the very opposite corner. And given up what these, uh, things have been. Yep. Opposite corner. Which means we gotta run back on over. Thank you, game. It's very nice of you. Though the one thing I have to question is why is there all this hubbub in order to get the friggin' thing? Like, if this place was a normal operation, they'd have to do all this crap just to get the thing. Alright, over there. No, grass was a lie. Alright. Let's do this better. Okay. And we're gonna 
take a left. Okay, there we go. something pretty darn valuable over there. this. And now the area is finally opened up to us. So we're not suggest getting tumbleweeds or anything like that if you want. Because now we can actually go to the area that really spawns them a lot. Pretty freely. While also doing all this other stuff. Always good to save. You never know what might happen. Okay. And this one is a little bit more puzzle-like. Plants are drying out. Let's keep Lanaryu green. about the cup there. I actually had a uh, interruption that caused me to have to redo this part, but that's fine. I'm actually here like not really a week later, but quite a few days later. All right, what do you say? Monthly temple of time cleaning assignments. Floor supervisor. <laughs> Well, clearly it didn't get cleaned. It got sandblasted. Alright. Alright, so you're dead. I'm dead. We're all dead. Okay. What do you say again? Oh yeah, the plants are drying out. If I'm not mistaken, you can also bomb them. And it gets in them and then they just die. So that could be a quicker way to... Nunchuck is still a problem. I still can't find my other nunchuck. I don't know what happened to the one I lent out, but... Them's the brakes. Alright. Try and kill him before he notices me. Okay. Rupee, rupee, rupee. Not too important. I don't quite remember where the time stone is. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Except I believe this one is actually somewhat of a puzzling one. 
I think we actually need to go to the other side before we actually, uh, hit that. Hearts. Give. Thank you. Just get rid of you, because I think you're going to be annoying. And it didn't work. Alright, well, it kind of looks like we have no choice but to just take this guy out. And then just do that. Probably slingshot at Mia. Ha! Ah. Now that we're up here, we can see we can actually get up there somewhat. Now this is a bit interesting because, um, this puzzle is one of those not good puzzles. Well, it's good, it's just mildly frustrating. Excuse me. I need that. Ah, oh, it's just a blue ruby. Okay, well. I'm not too interested in these guys. They keep respawning, and this dungeon's very short. They're not really worth killing. Especially since trying to kill them increases your chance of getting killed by the auto attack. If I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of back and forth thing on this, uh... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of more, uh, things on the board. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, back and forth thing, I think, on this one. Yeah, there's another chest. Rupee. Again. Ow. Alright. Well, let's get up here and switch this back. That does. Oops. Okay, I finally remember what to do now. I forgot. Oops. Well, at least we got the rupees. We're supposed to blow that thing up, take this shell all the way down. Get off. That's... Might as well blow this up. We got another energizer over here. Whatever you do, do not jump over here and fall off. Because that will basically have make you have to restart the entire puzzle again, and that's not good. We're just going to take you out with a bomb, buddy. Alright. No hesitation that time. Also, be sure, whenever you have an option to make a shortcut, take it. Because that can happen with auto-jump, and it's not a good day for anybody. It's just a rock. I don't really think Elden Ore is that worth getting in a chest like this, and the reason why is Elden Ore is kind of... kind of not very good. There we go. I'd like to avoid using the beetle as much as possible, even though I really like the beetle, because... It's, it's hard to use in, in some instances, and with all the cutscene time, it just saves a little bit of time. So what we're going to want to do is hook Beetle. And you see that little bugger over there. I don't want to grab it. Because electricity somehow cannot hurt the Beetle. Probably because it was programmed for this area, probably for this specific purpose. And drop it. Now, I suggest one thing, though. 
I think the other one was all the way back at the beginning, so we're probably gonna have to carry it all the way over. Which isn't good, because of all these enemies. Alright. It's probably the smartest way to take them out, because... Honestly, they're- I've gotten so many game overs with their stupid electrical stuff. Alright, we're gonna pick you up and we're gonna toss you immediately. Cause I think you're gonna want to- You're gonna, like, use a Pokemon move or something. Fun fact, I've never really played Pokemon. I've only ever seen the anime. And only the first season, because any, every other season after that sucks, because they change the dubbed voice actors, and it's just not the same. Plus, I really didn't like them building up all those characters, just to get rid of them later. I really like Misty and Barack and everybody else just seem like... I don't know, just clones of them. Ow. Ow. Yeah, great, now he's after me. I'm glad Link has homing dive bombs. Alright. We're gonna let you charge up. The nunchuck erroring like this is bothersome, because it keeps turning me away from the creature and getting me shocked. Alright. That's about good enough. I don't know why, but it took me a ridiculously long time to, to do this puzzle when I first played this game. I kept leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back, and forgetting that I had a hook beetle. There just wasn't that much inclination for me to figure that you had to grab this thing like a bomb and then just drag it over. Alrighty. Got these two little buggers. Except I need to move that one away from the other one, because it's in the way, and if I roll it, it's not gonna do too good. Ow. Sorry, Link. Right. Ow. Painful. This is the last key, though, so I'm not too concerned about fairies, because I can just go into uh, Skyloft. And get some fairies off screen before we go to the next dungeon. Ow. It just hurts dealing with two of these things at once. I think I'm gonna just have to throw one off. Get lost, buddy. Right. Oops. Didn't get aim. The timing on these things is very unforgiving. Sometimes it's very fast, sometimes it's very slow. Bad. Ow. I don't know, getting killed on the gameplay element that you're supposed to do for the puzzle, it's not... It's not something I would call a good mechanic, and this is exactly one of the reasons why... And also can get stuck. That's another thing. Why I don't like this area in particular. Oh, I only needed one. Well, for those of you watching this, you only need one. Fine. Totally fine. I'm completing the last one because I believe this is the last one. You get that. Eh. It's okay, I guess. We've never had one before. I don't think we've had opportunities to get one before. So I guess it's okay.
I just always expect the big chests to be the ones you have rupees in. Alright. Bink and push. Fire! Master Cloud, all these remote power nodes have been activated. Please make your way to the power generator in front of Lanaryu Mining Facility. We will be doing that, but in the next episode. We're gonna be walking there, but we're not gonna actually be going in there. I do like the Lanaryu Mining Facility. I just think that this area, the, like the three sets of mini dungeons you have to do, are a little annoying, and I don't like the fact that you can die from just innocently doing some of the puzzle mechanics. Like, picking one of them up and then it kills you. That part was a little annoying to me because if you get a game over and you haven't saved, well... Nintendo's not saving you there. Alright, well... It's over there. Might as well start the ep next episode over there now that I think about it, it's kind of far away. I'll see you guys then.